In number two, we have a differential equation that is solely based upon the y value. As we substitute in our y values, what we're going to see is that it's going across horizontally that we're going to have parallel slope cuts. If we were to think first about where it is we would have a horizontal slope cut, meaning a slope of zero, that is going to happen any time the y value is zero. So right here on the x-axis. So let's do the positive y values first, starting up at the top at y equals two. So if we substitute two into the y in our differential equation, we get that we need a slope of four. I'm going to start over here and line up my straight edge so that I have a slope of four. So I can go down one, two, three, four, and over to the left one. Now all across here where y equals two, I'm going to have that slope of four. So I'm gonna slide my straight edge and fill in all these points. Being careful to keep the straight edge as parallel to the other ones as possible. So all along here, I had a slope of four. Now when y equals one, I have a slope of two. Once again, I'm going to use that as my starting point right here in the second quadrant. So if I line up my straight edge, so I can go down two to the left one, so there's my slope of two. Going down to the third and fourth quadrant, I have a y value of negative one. Now my slopes become negative and I have a slope of negative two. Once again, I'm gonna start here as my reference point. So I'm gonna line up my straight edge. I can go up two and to the left one and simply slide my straight edge to fill in the other points. And then finally where y is negative two, I'm going to have a slope of negative four. I'm going to start here as my starting point. I can go up one, two, three, four, and to the left one. And now I have my slope field complete. Once again, you can do this in your graphing calculator to make sure you did it correctly.